Tiwai Venture School. It's unique, it's challenging, and it's brilliant for young people. As we reflect on the pioneers for over four decades now, have produced this very particular bespoke opportunity for young people to be challenged to grow, certainly reflect with gratitude that there was a deep sense from educationalists of yesteryear that there is immense benefit, no doubt about it, in taking young people out of an environment where they are comfortable and providing them with a raft of different challenging opportunities to learn and grow. At our Tihoi Venture School, that growth not just happens in a classroom where some of the curriculum can be aligned to much more relevant aspects of day-to-day -day living that they're experiencing in the outdoors, but equally and importantly, the learning that takes place through the physical demands of making their way into the beauty of nature and being challenged by tasks that require teamwork, that require one to push themselves into foreign spaces and really to become immersed. Immersed in what it means to not only live in community, but immersed in a discovery of self. There's no doubt for us that over the last four decades, our staff have pioneered and continue to look in innovative ways around how we can make sure that the social development of our young people is both nurtured and is challenged in a world that is incredibly complex. With over 3,000 graduates making a way through the Tihoi campus, we're incredibly proud of the way that our young men leave, arguably as little boys, and start to return via a process of transition into the midst of adulthood. As young men walking out of Tihoi, they understand that life is complex, living in community is tough, and that actually the benefits of developing communication skills, developing empathy, and developing a deep understanding for people's differences is gonna set them up incredibly well for the future ahead of them. Tihoi, however, is not exclusively for our young men. On an annual basis, it is important for us that all of the young women who we're so grateful to have as part of our community venture down to the Tihoi campus and are involved in a week-long camp where they too are exposed to the beauty of the outdoors, where they too have activities that they're involved in that really challenge them to create a cohesive culture as they start their academic year. There's no doubt in my mind whatsoever that our directors of the past and our current director and Mr. Peter Evans now understand that this particular program is not so that young people return as the finished product, far from it, but that young people return after a period of time without devices, requiring a really independent mindset and understanding that as they make their way through life, while there's lots to learn, the vast majority of that is best learned when you do that with others.